Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and if there's one thing that I've learned is basically not every job that pays you a lot of money is going to be a good job for you. And not every business that makes you a lot of money is going to be a good business for you. And that's why I gave up a job that made me run 80K per year potentially. And I gave up a business that was making me at its peak around 96 thousand dollars per year together that's to run a hundred and seventy six thousand dollars every single year that i gave up for one reason and that reason was to go out there and make youtube content now that sounds crazy but today i make around 30 to 40k by making content on youtube on the internet and that sounds crazy but in reality i've been doing that since i was around 11 years old making content and trying to figure things out so and by the way, guys, if I'm being honest here, I know for a fact there are a lot of you guys out there that might want to go ahead and say, hey, Tommy, I hate my job. I can't stand it. I don't like being here. I don't like the people. I don't like this job. I don't like the customers, whatever it is, okay? And you might want to go ahead and quit. But before you do that, I want to tell you my mistakes, what I've learned, why I did it, how you should do it. This way you can avoid all the pain and all the wrongdoing when it comes to quitting a job incorrectly, okay? I've never quit a job and gotten hurt by quitting a job, and that's what exactly I wanna teach you guys today. Now, if you guys are new here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to so get notified because I do post videos every single day. And on top of that, also destroy the like button because it does help a lot with the channel and basically the algorithm and all that stuff on YouTube. Now, the first thing is this, guys. And the first thing and main thing you basically need to know is if you don't know where you're going, you won't know how you're doing. Now, here's the full story here, okay? As you guys might know or might not know, I graduated at age 20 with a bachelor's degree in accounting. Now, the average salary is around 80 thousand dollars which basically means hey that's 80k when i graduate at age 20 right off the bat but in reality while i was in college i used those skills to go out there and go to small businesses and say hey i have these skills let me help you with your business this way you can go ahead and acquire capital and also build credits and also have a good business do your taxes all that stuff and at its peak i had around 33 clients and i was making around between six to $8,000 every single month. And that's to run 96K every single year. Now together, I could keep the accounting job and also the business, and that's to run $176,000 every single year. And that's where that six-figure salary actually came from. But in reality, I quit that. I didn't do that. But the truth is this, okay? Although it might seem like, Tommy, you made the perfect choice, I'm gonna do that also. In reality, it's not that simple. Although today, YouTube makes me around 30 to 40K per month, I've been doing YouTube since I was around 11 years old without making a single penny. That's the crazy thing about it. And on top of that, I've never ever quit a job without having something else lined up. So that means basically, before I quit all that business and all that stuff, I knew for a fact YouTube was actually going to make me money because it did for around 12 to 18 months. That's the core idea. I never just hope. I always say, hey, what are the facts? How do I know this and why do I know this? Once I know it and everything is there, then I go ahead and actually take action. The way I move is basically like I'm a, I don't know, like a 40 year old with 10 kids and a wife that doesn't work and they all depend on me for my income. So I would never go out there and quit my job and say, hey, honey, okay, I quit my job and I'm gonna go ahead and start a business. It's never that simple. I always wanna make sure that I am good, secure, have money on the side, and this way I'm good to go. You don't wanna be the guy or the girl that says, hey, I have a dream, so I'm gonna go to LA with no money, no job, no apartment, and I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that everything goes well. Well, well you're gonna cross your fingers and hope you don't go homeless within the first two months. The answer is no. Usually, what you wanna have is at least six months worth of expenses this way. If things don't work out, you're good to go. Or for example, you line up a job this way, you still have income coming in. Or for example, you keep your current job and work that business part-time until that income from it takes care of you fully and overtakes your normal job income. Then you can actually go ahead and actually quit. That's the whole idea there. But I never ever have been the person to go ahead and say, hey, 
I'm gonna go ahead and quit that job just because basically I don't like it and I wanna start this business right here. That's never been in my plan. I always act as if, hey, I have 10 kids, I have a wife at home, and I have to make sure I bring the bread home. That's that's the whole idea there, okay? And if you're a lady, the same thing. You have a husband at home, he doesn't work, you have 10 kids, okay, and you have to take care of them this way, you're also good to go. But it's always from a place of responsibility and also a place of security. This way, you're not going to go homeless or broke when things don't go your way. And again, and again, life is going to be like this. Ups and downs. Just like a roller coaster. It's not going to be like this, okay? Oh my gosh, everything's perfect. No, that's not how it's going to work. And that's why you want to have security before you go ahead and quit your job. Now, here's the real reason why I went ahead and actually quit those jobs right there. The first thing is, I never ever went ahead and got a job as an actual accountant and I knew exactly why I didn't want to do that you know although I graduated at age 20 and I could potentially go ahead and get a job for 80k a year I knew for a fact if I got that job you know and I work for example hey 80k a year eight hours a day 40 hours a week 2,000 hours a year or for example in 50 years over a hundred and four thousand hours of my time the answer is that is not where I wanted to put all my time. An account degree was always just plan B if YouTube did not work out, okay? And hopefully, well, thankfully, it actually did, okay? But I didn't actually want to go ahead and work that job because although it promised me a good career, good benefits, all that stuff, all those shiny things did not bother me or basically attract me because in reality, I knew exactly where I was going. And that's why you need to know exactly where you're going or you won't know how you're doing. And that's why sometimes you want to say no to things that don't get you where you're going. But you always want to have that plan B. And plan B was always, hey, I can go ahead and be an accountant while I figure out exactly how YouTube is going to work and actually make me money. However, I did not have to do that because basically I had that small business on the side helping small businesses and that was making me around $96,000 a year. And that's the core idea, which basically means, hey, I can keep this business right here, all right? And basically finance my whole expenses and I didn't have that money, okay? I live with my mom and that's why I did not have to do it. So I kept that side gig as an accountant for small businesses, which made me a lot of money until YouTube actually worked out. But the answer was, all of those jobs that I actually had prior to that were just always ways to actually make money while I figured exactly how YouTube was actually going to work out for me. But I was never gonna quit it and just say, hey, you know what? I don't need money. Let me just go ahead and do this one thing. The answer was no. I needed a way to make money while things worked out for me when it came to YouTube. If you have a business or a goal in mind, the idea is, well, let me keep this job to finance myself through it. This way, I'm not a broke artist or a broke dreamer. I, 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 I'm I not a fan of that whatsoever. So you always want to have a side job or a main job while what you actually want is working out, okay? That's the core idea. And again, the way I live life is basically I'm a 40-year-old man with 10 kids and a wife at home and I have to take care of business. So I have to be 100% sure of every decision I actually make. That's the core idea. And by the way, I just got engaged, but I'm not married yet. I don't have any kids. And on top of that, I'm, I'm like 24 now. Well, 23, but I will be 24 in around like 10 to like nine more days. Okay, that's the whole idea there. But you have to have that attitude this way. You don't say, hey, I'm young. Let me go ahead and make some crazy mistakes that will set you back a lot. Okay, so just take it easy and take it step by step. Now, on top of that, guys, here's some advice I actually want to give you. Before you ever quit a job to do a business or a dream, you want to ask yourself three main questions. And by the way, you know, guys, I want to tell you guys one thing here. The dream job you have or the business you actually want to get or, or build, whatever it is, you probably won't like 95% of everything you do when it comes to it. You probably just like 5% of what you actually do. So that's why, you know, the money and saying, hey, I I don't like this, I, I have to quit, the answer is no. That That's not always that accurate, okay? Because in reality, as a YouTuber, this has been my dream since I was around 11 years old. But do I like editing three videos a day? Not really. Do I like waking up at 4.30 a.m.? Um, not really. Do I like making, doing all this stuff, social media? Do I like doing that? The answer is no, not really. But I do like 
talking to you guys. I do like helping you guys. And I do like when I see someone and I see their eyes light up saying, hey, so I can retire and only save this much money and basically be passively making money just like this. And, and that's all I have to do. Yeah, that's all you have to do. You know, that makes me really, really happy. But everything else is just something I have to do to get to that point. Okay. So it's not always what you do, but it's also who you do it for and why you do it. That's the core idea. So always ask yourself, hey, it's not just what I do, but who I do it for and why you do it. That's also very important. So before you quit that job, here are the three questions you want to ask yourself. The first thing is, why are you going to quit? Okay. And again, it can't just be, hey, I hate my job or I don't like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit because that's basically it. Like when a lawyer or a doctor quits a job and say, hey, I went to school for eight years, but I don't like it. So bye, peace. The answer is no, it can't be that simple. You have to look for that who and also that why to why you do that job. For example, I hate being a doctor, but I love helping people and saving lives. I hate being a doctor, but I love the security it gets for my family and also for me. So it's not always just about, hey, I don't like what I do, but it can also be, again, same thing here, about who I do it for and why I do it. So whenever you ask yourself, hey, why am I quitting this job? It can't just be, hey, I hate this job or I don't like it. It's not that simple. Again, you also have responsibilities to actually think about. And also, question two, do you have another income lined up? This means, for example, hey, if I quit this job, Will I be homeless? Or for example, do I have another job lined up this way? Things are still going to be just fine. Again, sometimes you do want to quit a job. There's no way around it. It's just not for you. You hate it so much that you can't stand it. It makes your skin crawl and that's fine. Okay, that's fine. But when that comes along, you want to make sure when you quit, you have another job lined up. That way, you're good to go and secured. And before you quit, you also want to make sure you have at least three to six months worth of expenses and savings. This way, you still have money on the side in case anything does go wrong. And the last question, number three is, will quitting this job make you happier? You know, money, um, fame, um, having fancy things, all these things are not ways to track progress, okay? Progress, the way I track it is basically, does this make me happy doing it, okay? Do I feel good doing this? By the way, it's not always going to be making you happy when you have to do all the things that come with your job. Like, oh, I have to fill this paper, talk to this lawyer, all this stuff. No, that's not gonna make you happy, but does the actual job, the actual outcome make you happy? So although YouTube might make me around 300 to 400K a year, it makes me very happy and that's why I do it. It's not just because of the money, okay? So if I had my career making me 80K and my business making me 96K, and YouTube only made me around 40K or 60K, I would still go ahead and quit that and just focus on YouTube because basically that is what I want to do. So sometimes taking a pay cut to do something you actually enjoy is actually a lot better. It just happens to be that what I do makes a lot of money. It's just like Warren Buffett. He loves investing and that makes him a lot of money also. But you can also be, for example, hey, I love this job. It doesn't pay me that much money, but I'm also happy. I'd rather do that than go ahead and work a job where basically I make a lot of money, but I hate it so much. And your job is going to be a big part of your life. Around 50 years worth and you work for a third of your life is around 13 to 20 years. The answer is it's an insane amount of time to be very miserable waiting to retire. That is not what you want to do. So again, if you answer those main three questions right there, it should help you a lot when it comes to saying, hey, do I quit or do I wait a little longer? That's the core idea. Or for example, do I stay with the job and focus on exactly why I'm doing it and who I'm doing it for. That's the idea. And by the way, extra tip here is, hey, if I really don't like a job, but I like who I do it for and why I do it, the answer is, I'm gonna make sure I invest a ton of money this way I can get passive income and potentially work a lot less at that job, okay? That's the idea. And guys, in the end, life is all about just trying things and seeing exactly what you like and what you don't like. That's what life is basically all about. So in my whole life, I've been quitting a lot of things over and over again. For example, when I was 11 years old, all right, here's how crazy this is. I sold DVDs. So basically, I downloaded movies, burned them on a DVD, and sold them for $10 a pop in school. I knew that was wrong, so I stopped doing that. I did not want to make money the wrong way. And I also sold 
paper planes and paper boats to um, people that were in first grade, which means that, hey, they gave me their money and I basically used that and I gave them a paper plane. I knew for a fact they didn't know any better and I knew that was wrong. So basically, I stopped doing that also. I stopped an accounting business and accounting career because although it made me a lot of money, I didn't really want to do that. I kept trying things out to see exactly what I like, and once I found what I loved and actually like and found my passion, that is what I focus on. But the only way to find that is by going out there and trying different things out. And once you find it, you stick to it. But you don't quit and hope things work out. No, you only quit once that business you love and actually like is making you more money than your main job. That way, you have security. That way, your 10 kids are taken care of. But guys, that is about it for this video. Comment down below and let me know, are you going to go ahead and quit your job? Why do you want to quit it? Do you have money on the side? On top of that, is it going to make you happier? Comment down below, let me know. I'll see you guys next time. As always, like if you liked it. On top of that, also, subscribe and hit the bell shit notified. And if you guys want to text me or talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, join my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And on top of that, before I go, if you want to watch the full video on exactly how much money I actually make, here's that video right here. And click my face right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.